Hey guys, this is Steve at DQ'd Barbecue, where we're all about barbecue recipes, gear reviews, good times, and great people. Now if that sounds like something you're into, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Today we're going to be making some great smoked wings on our char griller egg corn. Y'all hang out. So smoked wings sort of have a special place in my heart when it comes to barbecue, because it's the first thing that I ever feel like I actually got right when it came to barbecuing. Now, the other great thing about wings is they're pretty much a blank canvas. You know, if you want them sweet, you want them savory, hey, you make them however you want them. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making up two different kinds of wings. We're going to make one spicy and one more of a buttery savory. So let's go ahead and get these things put together. I'll show you there what we're going to do. So I've got all my wings here and most of the time I'll usually cut them up into three separate pieces. The flat, the drumette, and the, uh, the wing tip. Today, you know, just it's gonna be me and mine eating these so we went ahead and we left them as whole wings um the one thing that i did that i really highly recommend chicken it just works out so good is to dry brine it now we've talked about that before on the channel but to sum it up real quick essentially all i did with these was about four to six hours before i actually cooked them i hit them off with um just a little bit of kosher salt and stuck them on a rack so that they could um well really what i think the benefit is with chicken is it helps that skin to dry out because especially with these wings we're going to want some crispy skin and that's pretty much all I did to prep before this. Now, what we're going to do right now, uh, even for both types of sauce we're going to use, is we're going to go ahead and hit them off with a little bit of poultry seasoning. All right, guys. Easy as that. We got our chicken seasoned up. We got our cooker up. It's running at about 300 degrees today. You can really run this anywhere from 275 to 300. Um, I just like the higher end of that to give me more of that crispy skin, but 275 will do you just fine. And as always, we're gonna be cooking these to an internal temp as well anyways. So uh, we're gonna be looking for 165 on the internal of these wings. They can actually uh, stand to go a little higher if, if you need to, to get to the point you wanna be. But yeah, that's it. We'll get them on. It'll take us about an hour to do. We'll see you then. All right guys, so I just came out and instant read the temp on these wings, and they're running right about 165, 170. So now it's time I'm gonna apply our sauce. Now the first sauce we're gonna to apply today is gonna to be our butter Parmesan garlic. Now the way I made this was uh, one stick of butter melted, a tablespoon of garlic granulated, and then I just add Parmesan until it gets thick. And so all we're gonna do is we're just gonna paint this right on both sides of about half of these wings. Now we're gonna do the other half with a uh, little mango apple sauce I just whipped up. And all that went into that was a half a cup of butter, a third a cup of whatever your favorite habanero hot sauce is, and about two tablespoons of apple jelly. Simmer that over some heat. Now it's going on chicken. All right guys, there it is. Real quick, I'm gonna shut the lid. I'm gonna let this coat for about five minutes and we'll pull them off. See you then. All right, guys, that's all there is to it. A little over an hour, we got a plate full of deliciousness. I mean, that just looks fantastic. But before I dig into them, as usual, let's go over what we did real quick. We took our chicken. Uh, first thing we did, we dry brined it, let it set. I let it set for four hours. If you can do overnight, hey, that's even better. We got our chicken out. We, we dried it off. We went ahead and just hit it with a little bit of poultry rub. You know, whatever poultry barbecue rub you like, hey, that'd be great. Just go ahead and hit with it while our smoker came up to 300 degrees. Once we had everything seasoned up and our smoker was at temp, we went ahead and we got them on there. In about 45 minutes, I flipped them over. But other than that, it was just a solid hour of letting them cook. I read the hour mark, it came out. I checked them with an instant read thermometer. We had them at 165 to 170, exactly what I was looking for. Uh, at that point, I went ahead and took my two sauces I made, my one butter garlic sauce and my other um, apple habanero sauce. I'll put the, uh, the recipes I used for those down in the description below. Went ahead, hit them with a little bit of glaze, let them set on the fire for a little bit. Now you can see we've got our, our sweet and spicy ones look sticky with that glaze. Our savory ones look nice and baked on. Then let's do but try it. Let's go ahead and start with one of these spicy ones. That's good. Mm. The rub and everything on top of that. hard to beat a good chicken wing. 
tell you what. But we got another flavor to try, so let's go ahead and let's grab one of these uh, Parmesan garlic ones. Love this flavor. Mmm. Love these things. Alright, guys. At the end of the day, you can make chicken wings whatever you want them to be. And there are all sorts of products out there. Shoot, I saw the other day um, Cosmo over at Cosmo's Q. I'll go ahead and put a link to his channel up here. If you don't know Cosmo, go check out his channel. Um, I don't know him personally, but his videos crack me up. I love his stuff. But he puts out a product called Wing Dust. I just saw the other day they released uh, chili lime flavor. So you know I'm going to be coming after some of that. But that's it, man. Just It's a great thing to enjoy on a, on a nice Sunday afternoon. You know, you want to fire the smoker up? You want to cook something? Cook play chicken wings. Guarantee you somebody will be by to see what you got. Yeah. Appreciate y'all coming along with me on this cook. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, hey, go ahead and subscribe, you know. Love new subscribers, and we're always trying to put out something new for you. Um, if you want to go to my social media, my Instagram or my uh, Facebook account, you know, the links are down in the description below. And until next time, y'all take it easy.